Hey, what's going on, fam? We're going to talk about this article right here from Business Insider. Uh, you got Elon Musk over here apologizing for a incorrectly low Tesla severance packages. Yeah. Imagine you just waking up, getting over the weekend, about to go into work on Monday. You open up an email that you see from Tesla. You find out that you got fired or that you got laid off. And then on top of that, you have an incorrect, massively low severance package. This is the operation that you guys can see. The CEO of Tesla is, is running, letting people go 10% of the workforce abruptly, quick. And then you turn around and see that your severance package is massively low. Here it is. Look at that. Got the man that has, hey, what'd you expect me to do? Look at the images that these articles come and grab. They got Elon Musk's hands up, head to the side, talking about, hey, what'd you expect me to do? I'm in here to make money. I'm not trying to help you guys out. I just laid you guys off. Just be happy that you got a service package anyway. Right? Look look at them. Elon Musk apologized Wednesday to laid off Tesla employees for incorrect service packages. The rare apology came after the EV maker said at least 10% of its workforce is being laid off. Some workers previously told Business Insider they were offered two months pay. Two months pay so you didn't even have time to prepare for a layoff or being fired from your job being laid off from your job you didn't even have time to go out and search for another career another position at another facility at another place so you only got two months of pay 60 days to go out and try to quickly recover that income that was coming in from tesla Elon Musk apologized in an email to some laid off Tesla employees after their severance packages were found to be incorrectly low, according to a screenshot of the email viewed by Business Insider. So this is not a joke. This is real. OK, quote. As we reorganize Tesla, it has come to my attention that some severance packages are incorrectly low, Musk said in a brief email sent Wednesday. My apologies for this mistake. It will it is being corrected immediately. The email was first reported by CNBC. They the one that dropped this bomb set, this bombshell information of the severance packages being extremely low. Some employees with off, were offered two months of severance. Five laid off workers previously told Business Insider. Just five people. Other workers told VI that as of Wednesday night, they yet to receive any information about seven packages. So they got laid off Monday. Here it is Tuesday, and they haven't received any information on how much money they'll get in terms of their severance. Get this next paragraph right here. 60 days pay is the minimum that companies with more than 100 employees must, must, must give laid off workers if there's no 60 day notice period before mass job cuts. This is according to the Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification Act. So they didn't give, and I'm talking about Tesla didn't give the employees that got laid off 60 days notice. So at least that could have been an additional two months to where they had opportunity to go and find a position. Now, why do you think that companies don't do that? Why do they not give employees a heads up at least 60 days out and say, yeah, we're about to cut your position in 60 days. Why, why won't they do that? Because it's simple. If I know and if you know that you got 60 days before you're going to be laid off, what you going to do? You're going to try to hurry up ASAP and try to find another replacement for that income that is about to be cut in 60 days. But Tesla need those workers. So they rather abruptly tell them by clicking on the email, hey, you got laid off rather than them giving them a heads up, the employees a heads up and say, look, in 60 days, we want to let you go. You know, there's no honor. There's no um, there's no I don't know the word I'm trying to say, but no one is convicted to stay. Right. If you know you're about to get laid off, why would you stay the full 60 days? If you can find another replacement in 25 days, in 45 days, 
then that'd be 15 days that Tesla won't have you as an employee and they'll have to go out and try to replace you, which is going to place more expenses on them. That's the reason why they don't give these employees 60 day notice. That is the reason why they had to create this Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification Act. Warn. Because these businesses, these companies were abusing the employees by coming into work and just quickly dropping them and saying, you don't work here anymore. The Tesla CEO sent an all hands email Sunday night announcing the automaker was cutting more than 10% of its workforce. Some employees learned that they've been affected only after turning up for work on Monday, meaning they got dressed on Monday morning. They got out the bed, got dressed, took a shower, whatever the case may be. They got in their car or took public transportation, got to the facility of Tesla, and they saw that their access car did not work. Some were told by security that if their badges, if their ID badges didn't work, they no longer had jobs. So imagine walking up to the place to get into the building. You see a security guard approach you and you're trying to swipe your card and it ain't working. He's the one that's telling you, hey, you got fired or you got laid off. Tesla's lost some senior executive as well amid the cuts. Drew Baglino, I don't know if I pronounced that right, who had been with the company for about 18 years and was most recently its head of powertrain and electrical engineering, said Monday he made the difficult decision to leave. He sees something that's going on in Tesla. Now, you don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to take business inside of word for it. Take Drew's. He's been with them for 18 years. He's a top level employee. Why would he just get up and abruptly leave? He should have already been established within this company. But he said he made the difficult decision to leave. Something is not right about Tesla and the internal environment there. Do you have another person? Look at this one. Roman Patel, the vice president of public policy and business development, also announced his exit on Monday. Will there be more job cuts coming? And this time it's not going to be the lower level employees, it's going to be higher management. So these two people like I, I can see the writing on the wall already. Let me just get up and go and find another place to move. Musk is also grappling with lawsuits filed by four former executives of Twitter. They're suing him for $128 million and guess that, look at that, an unpaid severance. Musk is creating a pattern. If, if he's not paying people what they're due, it looks to me like he's trying to penny piss them, but yet and still on the flip side, he wants to get this. Tesla again seeks shareholder approval for Musk's 2018 pay voided by the judge. Yeah, this man right here is shortchanging the employees at Tesla with their severance packages, but he wants to enlarge his pockets. Look at this. On Wednesday, Tesla on Wednesday asked shareholders to reaffirm their approval of CEO Elon Musk's record-breaking $56 billion compensation that was set in 2018 but was rejected by a Delaware judge. So here it is. He's trying to get $58 billion, but he's trying to shortchange the employees that just got laid off 10% of the workers. And some of them in that seven packages was incorrect. But he wants to get $58 billion. Make it make sense. And if this situation, this environment that they're currently going through in Tesla, this reorganization of employees and positions doesn't get better, how can you justify paying this man $58 billion when you can see that the stock value for Tesla, let me go ahead and put that on the chart, is in a massive downtrend. The shareholders won't approve $58 billion for this man if they can't bring the value up in Tesla. And I don't think they got long to make this turnaround. The next area is going to be down here around 100 bucks. We definitely don't want to see the market in Tesla break that area to the downside. Okay, 
So give me your thoughts about that. Let me run and do another price prediction real quick. Let me straighten up this chart. We're going to get rid of these sell zones up here at the top because price is no longer there. You guys can see our price prediction was ultimately tagged, what, two days ago or so? Uh, yesterday on the 18th, 13 and a half percent there. Now, I told you all about this buy zone. Price currently is below that buy zone at $146 in a pre-market. We could get rid of that. Look at Tesla on the weekly chart. We're still in that downtrend. Nothing has changed. Here it is on the two. We're still in that downtrend. Nothing has changed. It's about time for us to see a bounce occur into the market in Tesla. I just don't know where it's going to occur at though. Okay, so let me put this on 330 minute chart. We're going to try to create another buy zone in Tesla real quick. So we're going to look at where the market is over here. Understand we haven't seen the price in Tesla hit $146 since January of last year. All that time has gone a year and here it is. Tesla is now trading at $146. Crazy. So looking at this, uh, there's a couple of areas. Let me put this one here as a buy zone. Uh, put one right here. The biggest one is here though. Okay. So clearly I am not looking for the price in Tesla to go up right now. We're already close to this first buy zone into the market in Tesla. We're going to create another sell zone though. So let's put that there. And you guys can see right here, this is also a negative thing is that the market tried to hold price above 160 the last three days of trading it's been trading below it so that is going to be a resistance area as well too okay so let's look at this we'll bring it up there earnings is coming up in tesla on the 23rd next week this is our first target already we're at 146 so it's going to be real small that would have been on the close of yesterday, 8.15%, either at the low or the high. And then we'll do another target at 125 in Tesla, 16.85% there. So yeah, give me your thoughts though. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.